Meghan Markle's sister gives stinging reply to Duchess claim she hardly knows her Samantha, 54, launched an extraordinary Twitter attack on the Duchess of Sussex following her letter to Dad Thomas Meghan Markle's half-sister has turned up the heat in her feud with the royal with an extraordinary attack after her bombshell letter to her dad. Samantha Markle, who is the same dad as the Duchess of Sussex, fumed if I had $600 million she would care on the social network. It comes after Meghan, 37, wrote that she hardly knows Samantha, 54. The family are again caught up in a storm after their dad, Thomas, 74, published extracts from a letter Meghan wrote to him after their wedding. Snippets released from the five-page note showed Meghan, 37, telling Thomas Markle that he had broken her heart into a million pieces. And referring to Samantha, Meghan wrote, On a daily basis you xated and clicked on the lies they were writing about me, especially those manufactured by your other daughter, who I barely know. You watched me silently suffer at the hand of her vicious lies, I crumbled inside. She accused her dad of lying about her in Prince Harry and press stories, and family members say their relationship is now damaged beyond repair. Heartbroken Meghan also criticized Thomas for exploiting her relationship to the royal in extracts published by the Mail on Sunday. Now her half-sister Samantha told the son that he is prepared to release more of it. She said, it is nasty. Dad is prepared to release more of it. She claims despite not changing her number, her father has not attempted to call her or message her. The Duchess also slams Mr. Markle for siding with her half-sister Samantha, who has attacked her in the press while she silently suffers at the hand of her vicious lies. Last week People magazine revealed the letter's existence, and anonymous friends of Meghan's said they were concerned the emotional trauma of dealing with her dad could have a negative effect on her baby. They said she was so upset by her father's public attacks on her and Prince Harry that she wrote the anguished letter begging him to patch up their differences privately. In retaliation, Mr. Markle released parts of his daughter's letter publicly, calling it hateful. Meghan's half-brother Thomas J.N.R., 52, said, There's no trust between them. The relationship is broken beyond repair. It's so sad to see. The full extracts from Meghan's five-page letter release so far daddy. It is with a heavy heart that I write this, not understanding why you have chosen to take this path turning a blind eye to the pain you're causing. Your actions have broken my heart into a million pieces not simply because you have manufactured such unnecessary and unwarranted pain, but by making the choice to not tell the truth as you are puppeteered in this. Something I will never understand. You've told the press that you called me to say you weren't coming to the wedding that didn't happen because you never called. You've said I never helped you naturally and you've never asked me for help which is also untrue. You sent me an email last October that said, if I've depended too much on you for natural help then I'm sorry but please if you could help me more not as a bargaining chip for my loyalty. I have only ever loved, protected, and offended you, offering whatever natural support I could, worrying about your health, and always asking how I could help. So the week of the wedding to hear about you having a heart attack through a tabloid was horrifying. I called and texted. I begged you to accept help we sent someone to your home. And instead of speaking to me to accept this or any help, you stopped answering your phone and chose to only speak to tabloids. If you love me, as you tell the press you do, please stop. Please allow us to live our lives in peace. Please stop lying, please stop creating so much pain, please stop exploiting my relationship with my husband. I realize you are so far down this rabbit hole that you feel, or may feel, there's no way out, but if you take a moment to pause I think you'll see that being able to live with a clear conscience is more valuable than any payment in the world. I pleaded with you to stop reading the tabloids. On a daily basis you excited and clicked on the lies they were writing about me especially those manufactured by your other daughter, who I barely know. You watched me silently suffer at the hand of her vicious lies, I crumbled inside. We all rallied around to support and protect you from day one, and as you know. So to hear about the attacks you've made at Harry in the press, who is nothing but patient, kind, and understanding with you is perhaps the most painful of all. 
For some reason he choose to continue fabricating these stories, manufacturing this fictitious narrative, and entrenching yourself deeper into this web you have spun. The only thing that helps me sleep at night is the faith in knowing that a lie can't live forever. I believed you, trusted you, and told you I loved you. The next morning the CCTV footage came out. You haven't reached out to me since the week of our wedding, and while you claim you have no way of contacting me, my phone number has remained the same. This you know. No texts, no missed calls, no outreach from you just more global interviews you were being paid to do to say harmful and hurtful things that are untrue. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.